Zacian was arguably the strongest Pokemon in the Sword and Shield era of VGC. Since Scarlet and Violet has begun, Zacian has been hit with multiple nerfs. Zacian's base attack has been lowered from 170 to 150. Intrepid Sword has been changed so that it would only activate once per battle. And perhaps its biggest nerf, the attack animation for Behemoth Blade. We went from this to this. This is VGC Mike back again with my first Regulation G video. For our first team, I'll be using Zacian. I still see Zacian as one of the top dogs of the restricted Pokemon, despite the nerfs. Steel and Fairy are an amazing type combination, on top of having an amazing attack and speed stat. This team seeks to play a more balanced approach, with multiple fakeout users and Incineroar and Rillaboom, weather control with Pelipper, and the ability to block priority with Ferrograph. A large part of this team's success will come from neutralizing the opponent's team with the non-restricted Pokemon and knowing when to bring Zacian out for offensive pressure. I initially designed this team while playing on the best of three ladder on Pokemon Showdown, which is open team sheet. The team did really well and I felt like I had an answer for everything. If you like this type of content, make sure to subscribe. We are currently trying to pass 500 subscribers and I'll be uploading Regulation G content all season long. Now with that out of the way, Let's get into the battles. Groudon is a tricky matchup. We do 100% bring Pelipper though. There's no Intimidate, which is nice. I think we bring Fregraph to block any fake out or priority. Now nah, we'll bring Rillaboom because of the Among Us. Okay. So I'm going to Surging Strikes here, Terra Water, and Behemoth Blade here. And then we'll just see what happens. They could use Fake Out on Grimmsnarl and that would go really badly. Okay, they did send on Groudon first, Groudon first, so our Surging Strikes is not going to do a lot of damage. But we don't have to deal with any of the screens for now, so that's kind of nice. Okay. It's kind of a cool tech, but we do know they're scarfed for sure now. And that means that Entei is pretty much useless. He's going to have to switch out. which means we can pretty safely just double up here. Okay. So let's see if they are Rocky Helmet. That should deal some pretty good damage, but we might get the knockout anyway. Um, okay, so they're not Rocky Helmet, which is great. So based on that damage, I would say they definitely will not knock, uh, we will still knock out even if they tear it or like water or something. So it's safe to bring in Pelipper and then Behemoth Blade here.
Okay. I'm actually pretty okay with this because I think we can just pick up a double knockout here. Yep, even if they fake out, I guess if they fake out Pelipper specifically, then... Alright. Oh, just Nente. I'm fine with that. Totally fine with that. Yep. I do think Grim Snarl is pretty good in this format, honestly, but the fact that Zacian can one-shot it through Reflect, you gotta be careful. So what I'm going to do here is switch for Laboom out. We could potentially win this turn, but I'm just going to play it safe and protect. And then following turn we have Fake Out active, unless they happen to use like Fire Punch for some reason. Okay, they did use Heat Crash into Zacian. Okay, they healed up Groudon, so that's pretty good. Yeah, actually, I'm just going to try to take a knockout here and uh, substitute. Okay, they land the precip uh, precipice blades. Yep. So we might have a sleeping Zacian, but my thought was if they knock out Rillaboom, with like a fire attack, then we're safe from Spore. And if they didn't, which they didn't, um, then we would get the wood hammer off, right? So let's try a grassy glide. And then I guess it's safe to send in Pelipper again. Okay, protect. Okay, and they just pollen puff into Groudon for a critical, or no, I'm sorry, into Rillaboom. They get a critical hit. Terra, their Amoongus into water. Grassy Glide for the KO. So let's see if they Pollen Puffed Rillaboom. If they didn't, then we just KO next turn. But Hurricane looks like a two hit KO actually. Oh, they tried to heal up Groudon. I see. Yep, we'll just wood hammer and hurricane again. Battle's canceled. Alright. Yeah, glad I got to show off Pelipper quick. 
Um, but Zacian did put in a lot of work. Wow. Um, okay. So we're gonna use Pelipper because of the wide guard. We're also Terra Grass, which is great. Yeah, I think Rillaboom Pelipper covers things pretty good, actually. We will bring Zacian, but we have to 1000% watch out for Ditto. And then, um, I guess we bring Incineroar actually. Do we? No, we can bring Archfu actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. I wanted Incineroar because of the Prankster. Um, I don't know. I'm always worried about fake tears with Whimsicott, so. Okay, they just lead Ditto. So, I'd say the chances they have Torkoal in the back is pretty good. What's Weather Ball? Uh, wait, wait, wait. It's Terra Grass, Weather Ball. And then Fake Out. Either way, this will break a sash. They didn't switch out though. So let's see what they do. Probably Hurricane. Okay, close combat. A lot of damage. And one thing to keep note of is the fact that they, um, the fact that they didn't flinch, or that they went second. So we know that they aren't, we know that they aren't, um, interesting. I don't know who they ended up bringing then. Maybe they just went full in on the Torkoal Sun stuff, because that makes me think that they definitely have Torkoal in the back. Uh, but what I was trying to say is now we know that they aren't uh, Choice Scarf. Okay. Uh, we do have to be careful. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I definitely feel like they have Torkoal, so I am not... Okay, interesting. They didn't bring Torkoal. That's... Strange. I mean, it's not strange that you brought your Kyogre in general, but they brought all of their Pokemon that get boosted by the sun. Okay. I mean, I'm kind of okay with this. So I'm just going to Hurricane. I'm going to Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet knocks out everything on that side of the field. And we have a Focus Sash, so it's fine. Yep. Thunder Urshfu. Good damage. Oh, they get the com we get the confusion. So 
So it's the last turn of rain. They definitely could be locked into Sonder. Yeah, I'm actually thinking Tailwind plus Behemoth Blade here is almost guaranteed. They're not Scarf. Yep. Thunder. Tailwind. Okay. But my thought process behind that was basically like if Fluttermain protected, then they we would have both Pokemon and Tailwind set up. And if they didn't protect, then we got the knockout on Fluttermain. So Here's the awkward part, is that our only guaranteed move now is Weather Ball. And I'll just, yeah, I'll just go for consistent damage with Behemoth Blade, even though it's not very effective. Yep, that's a lot. And Weather Ball, even though we have no weather and it's a normal move now, we'll pick up the knockout with a critical hit, but probably not necessary, unless they happen to be like a Salt Vest and even then, questionable. Uh, Pelipper looks really good into the team. Obviously, because they're a sun team and we, you know, can make it rain. Uh, unfortunately, Zacian does not look good into the team overall. But I guess we'll bring him anyway. Um, we'll go Pelipper, Urshfu, Zacian, Rillaboom. Our Pelipper is Terra Grass, so if they try to go in on the Amoongus strategy, we just Terra. Okay, so they should be faster. So we'll turn that off. And I'll hurricane. And, uh, Surging Strikes, I suppose, because the only thing that really does anything to that is Amoongus, which they very much could have brought in. But it's raining, so I'm okay with that. It's going to deal a lot of damage. And then we could probably one-shot it with a Hurricane afterward. Okay. So let's see if they Rocky Helmet. They are Rocky Helmet, so that's not great. Okay, and they U-turn. Oh, probably for uh, nine tails. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. So I'll just weather ball a moon guess and switch into Rillaboom. Okay. 
Eternatus. Let's see if they Terra among us. Nope. Okay. So this should be a knockout for sure. Could end up wasting Zacian here if they choose to use a fire attack into Pelipper, but I don't really feel like that's going to happen. So I'm going to fake out. Terrifier will make it so we resist fire and bug attacks. And yeah, we are going to be exposed here to a fire attack for sure. Okay, let's see. Terra on Slitherwang. Terra Buck. Now we come in with our defensive Terra. Terra Fire. So we're probably just wall slithering right now with um, Rillaboom. Okay, they protect. You turn. Okay. That's fine with me. So I'm just going to Behemoth Blade and switch in Pelipper. So this will help reduce any fire damage. We should take, uh, we should deal some pretty big damage to Eternatus. Yep. Meteor Beam. Okay. And they didn't switch out with Ninetales, so I think we're in a good spot, even if they knock out Pelipper right now. That critical hit probably would have knocked out Pelipper like four or five times. Oh, nasty plot. I feel like the protect is coming, but I'm just going to make them play the way they have to play. Let's see if they heat wave, which I'd be fine with, honestly. Scorching sands. Okay, I didn't see that coming. We live it anyway. Um, okay, well, there you go. There's a burn, but we take a knockout onto nine tails.
just gonna protect and hurricane. And if they take the Naka and the Pelipper, that's okay with me. Superpower. Yep. So my plan here is to just take the KO on Eternatus, which I suspect Surging Strikes can do, and then we'll just gang up on them with Rillaboom and whoever we have. Oh, wow, we don't. Okay. So I guess we just lose here. Maybe not, actually. Let's see how much superpower does. Oh. So let's see if we can get a knockout after superpower. Reduce their defenses. Okay. So Eternatus does double resist grass. We are Assault Vest. I don't think Grassy Glide will do it. I do think Woodhammer would though. And I don't really want to miss. Okay, Dynamax Cannon. We do live. Okay. So that was a little closer than I thought it would be. Um, Surging Strikes was Probably a little bit of a bad play there, but um, I still might have dealt the most damage, so I'm not sure, because close combat would have been resisted.